Hello my soccer universe. Yes, it's the October 22nd background and this will post on October 23rd. However, I wanted to do this video uh, for a while and now it seems to be the right time. Um, the head Adidas has been doing something really cool for the NHL. Uh, I think it was the first time two years ago. This was the reverse retro range and they've released now the second version of reverse retro uh, jerseys. Now, um, if you have not seen this or if you don't want to, I will quickly explain. You can see, I'll post the link in the description below to the recent ones released. But the idea is take a retro jersey from a certain team and then mix the colors up a little bit or from the team's history. So some teams, you know, in America, they move franchises. So uh, some, some teams uh, then take from that and then uh, mix the colors up in, in some way. The idea is to create something fresh based on something old. And I really find this an absolute intriguing idea. And I've been thinking about this a whole lot and have been in contact with people. How could this work for soccer teams? Now, I really want to go through some ideas of mine. So my idea now, I, I go through all the big club teams that Adidas currently have under contract. So not going, I mean, it would be really nice, you know, for instance, Milan has been long with uh, the, uh, Adidas and, and so on to go back and look what could have been done. Um, I'm not doing quite that. What I'm doing is I'm taking the teams that Adidas actually have at this very moment. And then I'm looking in the history only for Adidas jerseys. I'm not going to other jerseys. I'm looking only to through Adidas jerseys and see is there a retro jersey that could be a little bit flipped. Now, I will show you in the video the jersey that I mean. However, my uh, talents in Photoshop, A, I don't have Photoshop and B, it will take me too much time and I'm not so adept with that to, 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 to be honest. I'm not good enough to really create then the actual uh, flipped version. However, if you are and you have some time at your hands, I really would love if you could bring some of those ideas that I am presenting you uh, here to life. I would absolutely love, love, love that because I think it would be a fun thing and I could make a second part to that. I really think, I think I found, I went through all the teams and we are going through uh, club teams and we're going through national teams second and I have focused on the teams at the World Cup, so no Sweden for instance, although that would be an interesting one too. Uh, I just want to throw out some ideas and maybe you get a feel of what I want. And I want to start out with probably the most Adidas team that I can think of, which is Bayern Munich. And for me, the first thought you know when i saw reverse retro i thought can we do this for uh, other teams i immediately went through to the 92 93 bayern uh home jersey and said let's flip the colors between blue and red and make a blue bayern home jersey with the red coming across the shoulders now i know blue might be a little bit contentious for bayern fans um but i think this is one that could really 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 work there is another contender there and there one can play around a little bit more, which is the famous late 90s jersey um, with the dark blue with the red chestman and then also on the sleeves. I think the first initial option for me would be to flip it the red and the dark blue so that they have a dark blue chestband. But I actually think that the Bayern fans would be much happier if we flip the red with the blue but then the chest band and the arms are in white and you have a navy color and navy stripes and potentially even navy sponsor i actually think this this would look even better i'm debating whether you should go you know there is there there is this double line across the chest chest band whether you could leave the dark blue in there so uh you have then a red jersey you have a white band and if a blue band if a red you have a blue you have a uh a white and then so on. So uh, I think you get the idea. That I think would be really, 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 really interesting. I would think so. Um, but you know, uh, that would be something to play around with. The only others that I could cover, you could go with Champions League jerseys, but if you flip that, I mean, a white version of the last two Champions League is still very much a Bayern jersey that we have seen. We need something a little bit fresh. And I think especially for that period, that dark blue jersey in a regular Bayern look could be something interesting. Now the next team uh, that is very much Adidas is Real Madrid. And here 
My first thought is, of course, the centenary jersey. Um, however, the centenary jersey is white with black, and I'm really looking at the plain one. This is the Real Madrid jersey, but if you reverse it, you get the centenary away jersey. So, I mean, those are flip reversals. So, my first thought is, can we make a golden version of this? That could look interesting. Um, and the golden is also the theme that I actually pick up in, 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 in a way, because the other thing is if you want to make a reverse retro, it should probably be a Champions League winning jersey. So let's go to the one from a 2000 final where they played in black, actually. Can you reverse it? I wouldn't want to do a white version uh, because that would be a Real Madrid kit. But, you know, make a golden version of this one. Make a golden version, flip the black and the gold. And you would have also gold. And, the, and this will be a theme. Another very beloved jersey among Madridistas is, of course, the 11-12 um, one, the white and gold one. Again, make a gold version out of that one. And then the last one, probably one of the most iconic Real Madrid jerseys that they have brought back with this human race uh, thing. Here, I almost want to see, could a white version with the dragon design work? Might be interesting. Uh, again, you could play with other colors as well. Uh, maybe in purple uh, in a way because it's also Real Madrid color. But you know, those are just some thoughts. I think this could work for Real Madrid. Now, one that is tricky is of course Juventus because Juventus is not so long with Adidas and doesn't have a long history with, with uh, Adidas. So for me, uh, that's the first problem. The second one is a black and white striped jersey. If you reverse it, you're still with black and white stripes. So, um, we have to look again at away jerseys. I think the most iconic Adidas jersey is this pink number that was the, uh, in the initial release. Um, I'm thinking if you flip the pink, you know, make a dark pink jersey with a light pink stripe and maybe additionally flip the black and the white, maybe this could be something that is of interest or make a black version of this one somehow uh and then you know uh, flip the pink and the black the light pink and, and and the black that could also be an interesting one the other one would be then i think it was two seasons later 17 18 the yellow one with the blue accents flip the two colors i think that would look even more juve ideally i would like to have a flipped version of the champions league winning one from uh 96 where you then suddenly would have a yellow jersey with the uh, with blue stars that i think could also look really really interesting but juve is not an easy team to deal with let's go up to the premier league and there are two things i mean arsenal for me is really easy and united is really really hard for arsenal i have two i think great options one that is a little bit out there which we, i call the reverse banana the bruce banana design is yellow with um navy accents flip those two i think this could make for a banger of a shirt and, and we know that this is considered one of the ugliest shirts this might be actually one that uh, but people love it nowadays this could work however an outside option to me would be to take the one that they won at anfield i think in 89 uh the yellow with the dark blue sleeves and flip those two colors then you have a dark blue jersey with yellow sleeves. I think we haven't seen this for Arsenal. And I think this could be very interesting. Of course, you could take a traditional Arsenal jersey and make it white with red sleeves. But not sure how great this would look. But I think uh, flipping those two colors and keeping the cannon and, you know, even the red, that could look really, really good. But, you know, either reverse banana or reversal of the famous uh, 89 shirt. United, I have a much, much harder time with for the simple reason that most of the time when you reverse colors on the United home shirt, there's nothing original coming. It will be just an away jersey. So uh, when I went through the Adidas shirt history of United, there is one in the 80s, very early 90s, and then, of course, one since the uh, mid-2010s. I think one that probably the fans would like to see is take the 1617 home jersey, the one with the half and half look, and bring this in green and yellow. Not sure this will ever happen, but I think this would be something that fans would uh, like. So this is my first thought. I think this could be interesting. The second one is they are having the early organized this really, really wild pattern similar to the Bruce Banana and they also use this for the human race, flip those two colors, maybe. Not sure if it will work because it will look very, very similar. And I also feel that the Bruce Banana might look very, very similar, although I 
feel there will be a difference between the blue and the yellow. My last option is for the mid 80s. Problem here is United stunk, but they had this really, really um, interesting sh uh, design with the white slivers here. Take this one and make a black version, potentially with a red, um, with uh, with red um, slivers. Could look interesting. So basically, f uh, replace red with black, white with red, um, and black with white on that one. Think that might be an interesting option. What do you think? And I want to go last to, uh, I know they're not one of the big ones, but they have been so consistently been getting great designs. I want to go Ajax. And I think for me, the most recent Ajax would be the 1819 um, season where they went all the way to the Champions League semi-final, almost to the final. And I think one obvious version would be to take the away jersey from the season where they performed so well in and just flip the beige and the, and the black. I think that is very obvious. But I also would like to see, and I think Ajax fans will now uh, highly disagree, they take the home jersey from the same season, flip the red and the white. So you have a white center stripe with a red outside. This could look as a third jersey, something smart, interesting. I think it looks better than if you would do the same thing for Arsenal. We're done with the club jerseys. Let's go um, to the World Cup teams that Adidas does. And I really, really have to say, I want to start with Argentina, who I'm wearing, and I have a real problem. I really have a hard time finding a good solution there. I mean, flipping the colors here, the light blue and the navy, would look maybe interesting, but you lose kind of the Argentina stripe being here. That's the first one. I think also a light blue Argentina jersey will not work because Uruguay, the biggest rival, is wearing that. So that doesn't go. I was then also flipping the home jersey. Yeah, you get pretty much the same. I mean, you could take the 2014 home, flip the colors, then it's more light blue instead of more white. Still will not I don't think it will quite do it. So um, I'm going back to the two uh, seasons where they won the Olympics in 2004 and 2008. And we're looking here now at the um, home jersey from 2004. I wouldn't flip any colors. I would make a golden version, replace the navy with gold. You could do the same thing in 2008. And I know they barely have been wearing these at the Olympics. But I think this is the recent one where they have won something. And I think the gold actually made sense because this was a gold medal. But, you know, I'm really pulling here uh, stuff in, in, in a way. You could also go to the 92 that they used the design for the 2018 and make that one gold. I think that potentially could work. Although Argentina, it means the land of silver. So maybe you should do a silver one. Just going. Um, Belgium. I'm going alphabetically. Belgium. Um, first thought was take the 2018 and make a white version out of there. Alas, we already had and it would be a straight um, callback to the away jersey in 1984. Although I think this looks really, really good. And I, I actually think uh, something like that I would have liked to see more on an away jersey. You could make a yellow one potentially, but I think that the yellow stuff gets also a little bit lost. So uh, not so sure. For me, the most outstanding Belgian jersey that has been released under Adidas was the 2016 away. However, what do you flip here? Do you make a yellow version out of that? Golden generation, a golden one with a, but you know, the, not sure how this will look. Um, I actually think if we go all the way back to 1986, take that because this is kind of an iconic template. Take the template and make a yellow version out of that. They had a white one. Make a yellow version out of that. I think that would uh, put a little bit of a twist. Germany. How about a red jersey of the famous 1990 World Cup winning one? I know we might have a problem. It might not look good because there's this red center band and this might get swallowed up. But you might have to do something there that maybe you fill in the... Uh, trapezoids uh, with the actual flag colors. But maybe... A red version of that one, I really would like to see. We have seen a green version. Uh, I don't want to see a yellow one. I don't want to see a black black one because you wouldn't see the, see the flag. But I think a red one could work. Could. I'm not 100% sure. 
However, I go to the other World Cup winning jersey. Um, I think if you take the one from 2014, I think a black version of this one could really look really cool or a golden one. I think both of these would work really, really well uh, and would be interesting and I think would also make some sort of sense. What do you think? So these are my two thoughts for Germany. So uh, a red of the 1990 or a black or a golden one of the um, uh, 2014. Japan also similar story um, what jersey to choose under Adidas as well I went for two Asian Cup winning jerseys and again I'm leaning golden I don't think a red Japan jersey will work although it would be interesting to see but you know the 2004 one I don't think it's such a great one but you could make this a red or a golden one maybe keep even the blue three stripes in there uh, I think it's more worth it to go for a 2010 one that was also the one at the Asian Cup in 2011 uh, either a red or a gold version of that. We had a white one, we have a blue one. I think that might work a little bit better. I really think this could work a little bit better and would be nice to have. Mexico. For Mexico, I'm actually thinking uh, take their 86 jersey and make it in dark red. And the reason for that is um, that Mexico used to wear dark red at home with navy pants. So a harking back, make it even more retro, uh, would be nice. I even think they played the Open in the 1970 World Cup in dark red. So the green jersey was only happening, uh, I think in a game against Italy, as far as I remember. Taking the 86 jersey and making it in a dark red, I think would be a really, really nice callback. Um, alternatively, we could make either a green version, but that would not be interesting, of the Gold Cup winning jersey in 2011, or flip the gold and the black. Again, going for the gold jersey, I know it gets a little bit, but I think this is something that would make it different, but I wouldn't want to have a whole range with just gold jerseys as well. And last, but definitely not least, is Spain. For Spain, I have only three options. And all of these are, those are the three um, jerseys they won the, uh, a trophy in. I want to actually start with potentially the easiest one, which is the 2012 one. Um, two thoughts here. First one, we could create a white one. But with a twist, you see the two stripes. This is more or less a... a a Spanish flag going, going going across. Make this white, make the body white and have a Spanish flag go across. Or do the same thing in navy. I think that could work really, 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 really well. Speaking of navy, you know they won the World Cup in navy. So how about taking the combining the 2008 and the 2010? Take the 2008 design and give us a navy one because we only got a white one. And I think uh, we we only got a mustard one. And we got a white one with a Spanish flag across, um, but we didn't get a, get a navy one. Would like to see that. And I want to finish with the World Cup winning jersey. In my opinion, the best looking World Cup winning jersey. I may be alone there, but to me it's the best looking one. Now, what can we do here? We have we got a white version in 2011, which I think also looked really, really nice. But I don't want to go white. I also don't want to have a red version because it would not be something new. Uh, it might not be entirely new, but there's one color that kind of sticks out and that is the color that was war that is used for the logo and for that the player's numbers was yellow slash gold. Again, I know not original, but I think reversing the yellow and the navy, you have something there. So those are my thoughts on potential reverse retro ideas. Again, I'm just throwing ideas out there. It would be really cool if one of my subscribers would have the time and create some of uh, some mock-ups of the ones that I have uh, mentioned here. I really would like to see those uh, imagined and then let's make one. Or if you have an idea to any of these teams that I have here to reverse a retro jersey, I would love to see that as well and drop a comment com com below. I would love to make a second part of there. Um, but, you know, I know many of you are conce uh, making concepts, maybe, so it would be nice to see this. Let's go make reverse retro for postscript of the really, really weirdest kind. Sometimes things just align perfectly. Uh, quick story before we go into it. Uh, I had literally just 
edited, uh, finished editing the video when I saw my Twitter feed blow up, which doesn't happen at the moment uh, because I am not really on Twitter, although I would like to get back there. The reason being is that about a year I pitched this idea about the reverse retro jerseys to Museum of Jerseys, which is a blog that I'm linking below that you all should follow because they have this fantasy kit Friday. Uh, where you, uh, people just say, how about if Barcelona um, played in Adidas or, you know, how would that look look like? It happens every week and it's really, really interesting stuff, uh, an alternate universe. And I thought this reverse retro would be perfectly suited for that. And I just finished the video. He posted my reverse retro idea uh, for the for the club teams that I have. He added a few more. I think there's a total of uh, 12 club teams in there. So I'm not going to show you all of them, but I want to show you the ones he created um, for the teams that I have mentioned in this video. And although it's not always exactly the jersey and maybe not exactly what I've been talking about, it gives you a really, really good idea. And to top it off, except for one jersey that I will show because this was a previous version, it was all done in modern Adidas templates, which I think is the um, is the most important here because if you, it was be done, they wouldn't bring back the old templates and also with modern sponsors. So uh, it all really makes sense. These could be worn that way. Potentially, kit regulations might bar them. And uh, running through this, I want to start with Bayern Munich, uh, where it's not the 92, 93, it's a 94, 95 to uh, uh, jersey. Uh, you will use here where they alter the sleeves, but you can really see blue and then you have the red over. It looks really, really interesting. Now, the one jersey where it was the same design, just flip because Fantasy Kid Friday usually does that, is the Bayern Munich jersey from uh, 98, 99, that, um, where you see red with blue. I have to say, it doesn't work quite that much, and I think that in white it might work better, or you know, leaving the navy in there. Just saying, other than that, I think it's a really, really interesting take. Now for Real Madrid, uh, an old Kelme design was used to create a really interesting uh, third jersey in black. I think the uh, original is in purple. So just flipping those two colors, this looks very, very interesting uh, to me. Still would like to see the ones that I have uh, said, you know, make a golden kit maybe. For Juventus, we see a black version of the pink jersey. Um, I actually think having in black and white and just one pink strap doesn't look so bad, honestly. I think this is probably the best version for that. This is a really, really smart kit. Um, again, maybe let's try also the other ones if you have the chance. But, you know, this is a good... I actually really, really like this one uh, because the pink stands even out a little bit more. And it looks quite Juventus. Reverse banana. Very yellow, very yellow, but it's some way cool. It's some way cool. I, I do enjoy this one. Um, and then for United, it was taking the red version of the, um, the early 90s uh, third jersey. That looks a little bit odd, but I think it's also, this could be a jersey, you know, as an alternate European jersey or whatever. I don't think they will go all pattern all over, but uh, definitely an interesting idea. And now, for the final one, and that's probably the most contentious one, it's maybe not a reverse retro because it takes the current jersey, but you know, Ajax just flipping the colors. It's just interesting to see. It might it might be more interesting maybe for an older jersey, but you know, uh, it's, it will never be really retro for Ajax. Yup, that's interesting. I actually think I, I would like to see that, honestly. I would like to see Ajax go with such a jersey as an away jersey or as a third jersey. I think this could be really, really interesting. So yeah, the video got extended. You saw a few reverse retro ideas. I'm really, really pleased with all that. And or yeah, Adidas. any case, please let, let me know what you thought about this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.